Okay, so we want to just, I just want to do a little bit of a preview because we'll use some new notation next week um, called sigma notation, and maybe you've seen it. But I want to give you a quick refresher. So <clears throat> when we're adding things up, sigma notation is for um, adding a bunch of things up. especially when the terms fit a sort of pattern. So um, let's say you have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus, right? I'm just adding up integers. Um, <clears throat> there's a pattern to this that you can see. And um, so um, we'll use sigma notation to write this out. So the sigma notation for this uses this, the Greek letter sigma. This really means add up these things. And then I sort of have to, I have to write a formula. In here, this is a formula for each term. And then <clears throat> you can see this is a discrete um, sort of um, function, right? So like I'm writing a function that only outputs whole numbers starting at one. So we use counter variables. And for those of you in CS, this is almost exactly like a for loop. like. So it's really for like I starting at one, two, seven, right? So I'm gonna use down here, this tells me um, the variable. Then I'm gonna use, it tells me the starting value. And then in this case, if I'm gonna stop at seven, I'm going to go up to 7, right? And so this tells me the ending value. The ending value at, top, at the top can be infinite. <clears throat> but so in this case, the formula that gives me this is just I, right? But, and let's say I do a slightly different one. Let's say I did all of the... Um, number squared, so like 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16. I'm still going to go to 7 plus 49, right? <clears throat> so I still have 7 terms. I'm still using this same i equals 1 to 7, but now instead my formula is going to be i squared. Do you see that? So then this means when I plug in i is 1, I'll get 1 squared, which is just 1, plus 2 squared, which will give me the 4, plus 3 squared, which will give me 9. Is this OK? So you can do this again. Um, it's sort of, um, I, I just gave you a few to kind of think about so that you could get used to this notation. But another example, let's say, um, that I wanted to do, um, you know what, let's do, <clears throat> how about 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. How's that? You see I have five terms. Usually we're thinking of this in terms of like, we are just kind of counting. I equals one, two, three, four, five. And even when you write that, you can kind of see what the pattern is, that each value is two times its index. <clears throat> so if I go I equal one, two, five, then the formula here is two I. Right? So there's no way to skip number. You can't tell the formula in here to count by two. If you want it to count by two, you'll put it in here. So other standard ones are things like 
adding up all the odd numbers like this again you're sort of thinking about this index is how many terms so I have one two three four five here and you can kind of see it again it's so it plays off of this one it's just one less than this guy up here so when I write this pattern I'm gonna do that this is 2i and then just subtract one and this will give me kind of what I need and there's other ways to write the pattern of odd numbers but um, this is one of them is this okay um, so then the other so this is kind of going from this notation to this but also I gave you a few problems that would give you let's say um, a formula let's say here's one j equals 0 to 6 of 3 to the jth power again all of these indices it's it's not necessary you could use x for the index but almost always it's like i j k um, in that range just by convention but so if I have this and I want to write out all of the terms I just again plug in j equals 0 so I get 3 to the 0 plus 3 to the first plus 3 to the second so all I'm gonna do is plug these in till I get up to the ending value right here to plugging in j is 6 and then I'm going to be done and then at this point you can like simple I'm not going to like add all these up but the main thing is to be able to convert between these two types of notation is that okay so we're going to start to use these this type of notation um, next time and I, I just wanted you to get a little bit familiar before we did that working class